On the banks of the San Juan River in the 1970s, Jim Aubrey created what is now one of the most contested, banned and looked down upon flies within the fly fishing world. This fly ushered in its fair share of controversies from the San Juan Shuffle to the Czech Fishing Union outright banning the fly after a U.S. team won a tournament using the San Juan Worm. The head of the union, Martin Musel, even quoted, I will never fish this fly, and I hope every clever and real fly fisherman is in the same boat. With future iterations of this fly causing even more turmoil in the angling community, this is one of the most successful flies that can catch a wide variety of fish. This is the San Juan worm. One of the biggest controversies surrounding the fly is the San Juan Shuffle, a technique where fishermen scuffle the bottom of the river, dislodging worms to start a feeding frenzy. This tactic has become unsporting and has been looked down upon by most fly fishermen. The most common reason the worm is banned is that most wildlife and fishery departments consider it a bait. An item used to attract fish that is not an artificial fly, lure, or attractor. Molded soft plastics or rubber imitations of worms, eggs, insect, bait, fish, crayfish, etc. are considered baits. Many fishing areas do not allow baits for fly fishing. However, this is contested by many considering rubber legs and other synthetic materials are allowed. More recently, the squirmy wormy material has found itself in the center of this controversy. The squirmy wormy was brought to popularity by David Heiss from North Carolina. It is made from noodles or strips of soft plastic or latex. While more popular in the east, it finds itself classified as a bait out west. The actual San Juan worm is around 2 inches in length and resides on the silty river bottom of the San Juan in New Mexico. The creator of the fly, Jim Aubrey, used ultra chenille for the body and burnt the ends to prevent fraying. This fly serves as an excellent imitation of the actual San Juan worm. In the Sierras, it imitates a blood midge found in alkaline lakes in the eastern regions. It is also used as a midge larvae pattern in the Sierra and streams. The San Juan worm is particularly useful when fishing high water situations after a rainstorm. Worms will become more evident in the river from the bank erosion. The stained conditions of the water enhances its usefulness. Darker colors such as purple and red become a good choice. Add a bead to the fly to go deeper in the water column or during fast stream flows using a slow twitching action. The fly can be used year round, especially in the spring. The San Juan worm is a great imitation for aquatic and terrestrial worms. Just about all freshwater fish love calorie packed worms, so this is a great fly regardless of conditions or targeted species. Love it or hate it, the San Juan worm is a tried and true to fish getter, and the fish love it.